Hello everyone, my name is Danny George and today I'm going to do something I really don't like to do which is handle the snapping turtle. It has to be done, I need to check him out about every month or so but I don't like doing it because as you've seen in my other videos he's very big and very aggressive. Luckily it's cold outside so he should be a bit slower today. If not, well, at least it's gonna be some interesting content. Now, as you can see, this is his little pond. It's made out of a tractor wheel. He has his log here that he can use to climb on and get some sun. He doesn't really do that though. He just likes to hang around in the water. All right, wish me luck. Ah, it's so fucking cold. So this is Kratos the snapping turtle, as you can see, despite being cold, he's still pretty, he doesn't, he still doesn't like me. Yeah, yeah, keep trying, boy. I stepped in the water, so fucking cold. Okay, that's, that's good enough, man. Right, let's put him somewhere and see how he's doing. <sighs> he he really has a big problem with me. Now what I really like about this type of turtle is that despite them being so aggressive and all, they're actually one of the hardiest turtles around when it comes to cold weather. Like it's almost November here in Transylvania and it's like 10 degrees Celsius outside and uh, normally exotic turtles just slow down and hibernate in this weather. Not these guys. These guys can live all right under ice. Like minus 20 degrees Celsius, he's gonna be just like he is now. You got a problem, boy? Yeah, that's what I thought. As you can see, he's doing fine. He's active, he's mean as usual, and uh, yeah, he slowed down a bit, but uh, not by much. I'm sure that if I drop a chicken in there, he will tear it apart like he always does. But we're not going to do that, as I'm trying to prepare him for hibernation. Now, if you have one of these, trust me, you don't want to get grabbed. Their bite is not something to be trifled with. I'd rather get bit by a dog again than be bit by this guy. Especially since he doesn't let go. He's really mean. And he always had this behavior even when he was a hatchling. I got him about 10 years ago and uh, I named him Kratos because he was always picking fights with beings much larger than himself, like me. And uh, as you can see, he still does that. Now I'm going to pick him up again and return him to his watery habitat. Such a mean and vicious creature. I really like it. Yeah, yeah, we get it. You don't like anything. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy your swimming. Let's uh, rebuild his prison. Now, the security system I have on him is not actually to prevent him from getting out, because he can, but to prevent any other animal, like my dogs, from getting in. Like, I don't like their chances when faced with something like that. Then George out. <laughs> 